Napenda kwa heshima na kwa kumtukuza Mungu ambaye kila wakati anawamwagia watumishi wake mafuta ili ya kwamba watuletee neno la Bwana kwa wakati wake sote tusimame kwa miguu yetu tukimpokea sio mwingine lakini the overseer of CLJ Maranatha prophet Joel Lutuka come on celebrate Jesus as the man of God comes Prophet Joel Lutuka is the founder, visioner, and overseer of CLJ Maranatha International Ministries, whose main branch is located in Nairobi, Kenya. Prophet Joel Lutuka is submitted under the mentorship of his spiritual father, Prophet Victor Kusi Boateng, the overseer of Power Chapel Worldwide, whose headquarters are in Kumasi, Ghana. He is married to the beautiful Mama Salma Lutuka, with whom they minister together and are blessed with three sons. His vision is to impress the heart of God to people. He is a dedicated and profound teacher of the word who also operates under a prophetic anointing which he uses to comfort, encourage, and edify the body of Christ. Prophet Joel is also an established and thriving businessman and a mentor in business matters. Together with his wife, they have a great passion to support widows, orphans, and the underprivileged. His mandate is not just for Kenya but global. He has traveled far and wide to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, including different states in the USA, UK, various countries in Europe, and several nations in Africa. Now, with a Jesus ovation, ladies and gentlemen, be on your feet and join me as I welcome on stage the celebrated Prophet Joel Lutuka. Praise the Lord. Lunga lunga, are you here? Lunga lunga, Can I hear you shout to the Lord? Come on, let's celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Jirani. Today, Leo, Jesus, Yesu, is here. Yuko hapa. Say to another neighbor, say neighbor. Today, Leo, Jesus, Yesu, has come to Lungalunga. Lunga. Lunga Lunga. If you believe it, put your hands together for Jesus. Come on, amen. In for Yesu, my coffee, Mazuri. Lift your hands wherever you are. Inua mikono yako popote ulipo. Heavenly Father, Baba wa Minguni, we thank you. Tunakushukuru. There is none like you. Amna mungine kama wewe. From ages to ages, Changu vizazi na vizazi. you're still the same. Wewe ni yule tu, jana. We praise you today. Tunakusifu leo. For before time to be, you call this day into existence. Kabla wakatu ya kuwepo uliju wa siku hii. We strongly kwewe. believe tonight. Na tunamini kwa akika leo. Every person under the sound of my voice. Yeyote chini ya sauti hii. Shall receive your special touch. Atapokea mguzo special. None shall leave this place the same way they came in. Hakuna atakaitoka hapa jinsi ya livyo kuja. Holy Spirit of God. Arrest everyone for your glory. Arrest every movement for your glory. Arrest every flesh for your glory. This we give praise unto your holy name. In the precious mighty name of Jesus. Shout the biggest amen you can. Amina 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 to God be the glory. Thank you very much. Asante ni sana. The Lord bless you. Bwana wabariki. You may have your seats in the presence of God. Munaweza kuketi katika uwepo wa Mungu. My name is Joel. Jina lake ni vile mmesikia. Tell your neighbor his name is Joel. Aya ambia jirani yako jina lake ni Yoweli. For some call me pastors. Wengine wanamuita mchungaji. For some they call me bishop. Wengine pia wanamuita askofu. And most people call me prophet. Na watu wengi wanamuita nabi. What will you call me today? Sasa we utamuita vipi leo?
When I entered Lunga Lunga today, alipoingia hapa Lunga Lunga leo, I remember something. Alikumbuka kitu. If I was to be born in Kenya, kama angelizaliwa kwenye nchi ya Kenya, this is the place I was going to be born. Hapa ndipo angelizaliwa. I feel I am home when I'm in Lunga Lunga. Yeye anaishi akiwa nyumbani akiwa hapa Lunga Lunga. I feel like I met the people that I can mingle well. Anaishi anaweza kutana na watu na ashirikiane nao vizuri pia. You will understand me and also understand you. Utanielewa na pia yeye atakuelewa. You are lovely people. Nyinyi ni watu wazuri wa kupendeza. And I'm looking forward to come back again for a greater meeting. Na anapanga kurudi tena kwa mkutano mkuu. For the Lord said to me, lakini Bwana akasema, when I asked him, alipomuuliza, why do you wanted me to have a meeting here? Kwa nini ulitaka niwe na mkutano hapa? Oh, this is my first meeting of crusade in Kenya. Huu ni mkutano wangu wa kwanza wa mikutano ya nchi. It is in Lunga Lunga, Kenya. Hapa Lunga Lunga. And this is what he said to me. Na hivi ndivyo Bwana alisema kwa mtumishi wake. He said I'm raising the next generation from Lunga Lunga. Akasema nainua kizazi kijacho kutoka Lunga Lunga. The generation of mighty pastors and prophets. Kizazi cha wachungaji wakuna manabii. The generation of men that will raise in business. Kizazi cha watu watakaoinuka katika biashara. And powerful singers shall come out from Lunga Lunga. Na waimbaji wakuu watatokea hapa Lunga Lunga. If you believe it shall the big man. Kama unaamini sema amina. God is not a man that he should lie. Mungu sio mwanadamu aseme uongo. And no a man that he should repent. Wala mwana wa Adamu atubu. What he says is what he shall do. Kile alichosema ndicho atakachokifanya. And sometimes when you look at yourself you might not see any good things to yourself. Wakati mwingine ukijitazama hauwezi kuona kizuri kutoka kwako. But there is a God that loves you the way you are. Lakini kuna Mungu akupendaye jinsi ulivyo. And he chose you the way you are. Na akakuchagua ulivyo. And he shall make people to see the wonders that he are doing your life. Na atasababisha watu waone maajabu atakayofanya maisha yako. After tonight. Baada ya usiku wa leo. Something will remain in Lunga Lunga. Kitu kitasalia Lunga Lunga. The power of God shall remain in this place. Nguvu za Mungu zitasalia mahali hapa. You will see it and you will confess it. Wewe utaona na utakisema. For God is in this place. Maana Mungu yuko katika maeneo haya. My message is short. Ujumbe ni wangu ni mfupi. Because God sent me to do works. Maana Mungu alinituma nifanye matendo wa makazi. The Bible said the gospel is not in a lot of talks. Biblia nasema injili sio kwa maneno tu ya mawazo. But in the demonstration of the power of God. Lakini kwa udhirisho wa nguvu za Mungu. Where you are seated there the power of God shall locate you. Mahali tu umekalia hapo nguvu za Mungu zitakufikia. Even at your the back there the Lord shall visit you now. Hata ukiwa kule nyuma Mungu atakutembelea hapo sasa. Will you allow me to come to you? Je, utaniruhusu nije kwako? But Jesus is coming fast to you. Lakini Yesu anatangulia anakuja kwako. And he's going to touch you mightly tonight. Na atakukuza kwa njia ya ajabu siku ya leo. If you are sitting to a person that is sick, kama umekaa karibu na mtu aliyemgonjwa, do me a favor. Tafadhali nifanyie kitu kibali. And help me tell that person. Na ukuze huyo mtu, Jesus has come to save you. Mwambie huyo mtu Yesu amekuja kukuokoa. And tell that person you are not living the same way you came in. For Jesus loves you. My message today is in John chapter 9. John chapter 9. It's a long story. Of a man that was blind. Ya mtu aliyekuwa kipofu since birth tangu kuzaliwa kwake Who is going to read for us today? It's Pastor Sam, thank you. Put your hand together for Pastor Sam. Mchungaji Sam atatusomea andiko hilo leo. Mpe Yesu makofi kwa sababu yake. John chapter 9 from verse na, one. From verse number 1. Mm. The Bible says now as Jesus passed by 
he saw a man who was blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with clay. And he said to him, go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is translated as sent. Mm. So he went and washed and came back seeing. Therefore the neighbors and those who previously had seen that the man was blind said to him, is not this he who sat and begged? Some said, this is he, and others said, he is like him. Mm. Then the man said to them all, I am he. Therefore they said to him, how are your eyes open? He answered and said, a man called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said to me, go to the pool of Siloam and wash. So I went and washed and I received sight. Then they said to him, where is he? Mm. He said, I do not know. Verse 13, they brought him who formerly was blind to the Pharisees. Now it was a Sabbath when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes. Then the Pharisees also asked him again how he had received his sight. Then he said to them, he put clay on my eyes and I washed and behold, I could see again. Therefore, some of the Pharisees said, this man is not from God mm. because he does not keep the Sabbath. Others said, how can a man who is a sinner do so much signs? And there was a division among the Pharisees. Then they said to the blind man again, mm. what do you say about him? Because he opened your eyes. He said, the man is a prophet. But the Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight until they called the parents of him who had received his sight. And they asked them saying, is this your son who you say was born blind? How then does he now see? His parents answered and said to them, We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind. Mm. But by what means he now sees, we do not know. Or whoever opened his eyes, we do not know. He is of age. You can ask him. He will speak this for himself. This is what Jesus is going to do tonight. Mm -hmm. His parents said, these things because they feared the Jews. Mm. For the Jews had agreed already that if anyone confessed that he was Christ, he would be put out of the synagogue. Mm. Therefore his parents said, he is of age, you can ask him. So they again called the man who was blind and said to him, give God the glory. Mm. We know that this man is a sinner. This is what the man answered to them. Whether he is a sinner or not, I do not know. Mm. One thing that I know is that once I was blind, but now I can see again. Shout to Jesus. Father, shout to Jacob, Thank you, Father, for your word. This is a very long story. But it was a man who was blind. And the Bible says, when Jesus Christ touched this man and sent this man to go and wash himself into the river Silahu, and the Bible says the man could see and he came back with the news that I wasn't able to see but now I can see and the Bible says people came in multitudes to ask him a question how come that we knew you 
that you are not able to see but now you can see it's amazing that you came with that situation tonight people that saw you two hours ago people that saw you in the morning today the moment you are going to return after this meeting they are going to see you a different person and the bible said they ask him a question who has done this and the man said it is not a doctor neither a witch doctor but the one who has done this his name is Jesus shout with me the name of Jesus come on say it again Jesus say loud again Jesus and the Bible says the people that were in the synagogue men that were mastering the religion that they knew the book they have been into church but they could not comprehend the power of God they could not understand that what they are reading is able to do something it's, a, it's amazing that you can be in the church you read the Bible but you have not encountered the God of the Bible but the Bible says he who is the God of the Bible took upon himself flesh and he appeared among the human and his name was Jesus and the Bible says when he encountered the blind man blindness had no other option than to give way to the presence of Jesus let me announce to someone tonight you might have come with the situation that seems to be like that blind man whereby you have a condition since birth when no man can help you when no man can support you but there is a Jesus of the Bible tonight who is going to meet your situation and who is going to set you free from that complication shout with me yes Lord and the Bible said the people could not understand how come the person that we knew that wasn't able to see now he can see and the man tried to explain to them he said it is the one that you insult it is the one that you complain about it is the same one that you are refusing he is the one who has touched my eyes and now I can see my eyes are open tonight people of God I see the same hand that has touched that blind man is touching people tonight I can see clear in my own eyes the same Jesus that delivered that man is going to deliver people tonight and the Bible says while they could not understand they brought the man near them and they said to the name can you explain to us how did he do it why because religion cannot save you religion cannot deliver you religion cannot take you to heaven but there is only one man who can take you in heaven it is not religion it is not crying into idols but it is lifting your eyes unto Jesus the Bible says as you confess his name and you believe him he shall save you you and your family shout with me the name of Jesus come on child can I hear you shout the name of Jesus and the Bible says they say to the blind man blind man we cannot believe you because we don't like the man who saved you we don't like the man that delivered you listen to me people of God when you go to religion 
ukienda kwa dini religion will want you to remain sick dini itataka ubakie kwenye magonjwa yako when you go to religion ukienda kwa dini religion will make you to remain in processions yani eh, dini itakubali ukusalia ukiwa umepagawa of the oppressions of demons umefinyiliwa na mapepo and the lies of the enemy na uongo wa adui but if you can turn your eyes lakini ukigeuza macho yako from religion kutoka kwa dini and you look unto jesus na utazame yesu he shall save you tonight atakuokoa usiku he shall leo. deliver you tonight atakukomboa usiku leo he shall leo. deliver your family family tonight you have looked to men too much you have looked to men to help you you have asked for help from men but there is one man if you can ask of help tonight he shall not let you down he shall not drop you down but he shall elevate you from glory to glory i see jesus entering this place and he's going to elevate men tonight he's going to to elevate people tonight i see angels entering the crowd tonight they are going to say to you your time has come that you shall walk the way you used to walk you shall see the way you used to see and your life will never be the same again let me see you wave at jesus come on child wave at jesus as you are waving shout the name of jesus as you are waving say jesus Jesus. As you are waving shout the name of Jesus. As you are waving I see Jesus touching you. I see Jesus changing your life. I see Jesus changing your family. The Lord is in this place. Mungu yuko mahali hapa. I see the power of God. Naona nguvu za Mungu. Thank you Holy Ghost. Asante Roho Mtakatifu. Thank you Holy Ghost. No other name. Asante Roho Mtakatifu. But the name of Jesus. No other name. But the name of the Lord. No the name of, of Jesus is worthy of honor and worthy and worthy and worthy of honor and of praise you want to say the name no other name What in me that same healing power his own nguvu za uponyaji it is here present ziko hapa sasa hivi if you dare to believe ukiamini tu you shall be saved 
If you dare to say Jesus, here I am. Touch me. He shall save you. That same Jesus. Yesu yule yule. He said, I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. The same who set free that blind man is here to remove that burden out of you. He's here. While they could not understand him, people of God, do you know what pastor called Jesus? Do you know what those people called him? They called him a thief. Because they could not understand that he can heal the sick. They called him the chief of the demons. They called him the son of the devil. The same God. The people in the synagogue, they called him a thief. Let me tell you. There is a title people have given you. There is a title people have called you. No worries. They call Jesus the same title. They called him a thief. They called him a criminal. They called him a murderer. They called him the son of the devil. What are people calling you? What wana kuita nini? They have called you a thief. Wame kuita muizi. But you are not the thief. Na wewe siyo muizi. They have called you a murderer. Wame kuita muaji. You are not a murderer. Wewe siyo muaji. They have called you a criminal. Wame kuita jambazi. But you are not a criminal child of God. Na wewe siyo jambazi mana wa mungu. You are a child of God. Wewe ni mwana wa mungu. You are a child of God. Some of you might be your parents. Some of you it might be someone dear to you. Who has given you a name. Which God has not named you. Jesus has called you a different name tonight. Jesus has called you a different name tonight. At the back, Jesus has called you a different name tonight. I know they call you a drunkard. You drink all the time. You are meant to nothing. They said to you, don't go there. You are meant to nothing in your life. But I have come to give you good news. I have come to give you good news, child of God. Jesus is giving you a new name. Jesus is giving people a new name today. You are no longer the drunkard man. The drunkard woman. You are no longer the bastard child. But you are the chosen of the Lord. Because heaven is going to write your name tonight. Heaven is going to write the name of someone tonight. Do you believe it, child of God? Say, I am not a drunkard. Say, I am not a criminal. Say, I am not a thief. And I am not a murderer. I am not a prostitute. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. If you believe it, shout the name of Jesus. Shout the name of Jesus. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Tell your neighbor, I am a child of God. Talk to someone, say, I am a child of God. Stand up and talk to someone. God is in this place now. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. 
Your hands and thank you. You are here touching every life. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. Jesus! Hey. Hey. 